and welcome back to the channel on this video first of all I want to give a quick weather situation here so we're under extreme heat warning excessive heat warning uh, temperature right now is 101 degrees as I do this video at 341 in the afternoon I'm recording this on Thursday September the 5th and uh, I'm not sure how well you can see it in the sky, but it's not a blue sky. We've got uh, wildfire smoke in the area, as you can see here. I can definitely notice it. It's really moved in. I mean, earlier we had blue sky, but not anymore. But on this video, I don't want to talk about the weather. I want to talk about the Talaria sting and if you're not familiar with the uh, what the Talaria sting is it's a electric dirt bike and I want to talk about the Talaria because they have just announced the latest in the collection of Talaria it's, it's the big boy of the bunch now it is a Talaria MX-5 or Talaria Sting Pro. So Talaria Sting MX-5 or Talaria Sting Pro. And let's turn right here. And so it's a significant uh, bike here for a few reasons. One of them is for the first time Talaria has gone 72 volts on this bike. So this bike is a 72 volt with a 13 kilowatt motor. That's 17 horsepower, that's powerful. Uh, the bike has a top speed of 60 miles per hour and 500 newton meters of torque. So if you want a powerful dirt bike I'll say powerful in the light sense not a powerful full full blown dirt bike but on the lighter side but a you know a pretty decent bike uh, this might be the bike for you and I gotta stress that they say uh, strictly this bike is for off-road so if you take it on the road, you're doing that at your own risk. Um, now, the price on this bike is $4,700. I think that's a good deal. This is, if you're looking for a bike off-road with some uh, bite to it, you might be interested in this. I don't know the full specs on the bike, but some of the ones I've given you are what I do know. The battery is a 40 amp hour, 72 volt. I do not know the range because they give you the range in such a slow speed that nobody's gonna ride that slow. I think they give it to you in like a 50 mile per hour speed. And let's face it, who's gonna ride that bike at 15 miles per hour? Um, it, Speaking of speed, it will go 0 to 30 miles per hour in 2.1 seconds. That's fast. It'll charge. I don't know what size the charger is, but they're saying it'll charge up in three hours. And the bike is $4,700 on Luna Cycle. I think it's on a pre-order right now. I don't know about shipping and what that's gonna cost you. So once again, for the first time, Talaria is going 72 volt with a powerful 13 kilowatt motor, top speed 60 miles per hour, 40 amp hour battery, $4,700 uh, $4, on pre-order now at Luna Cycle. I will leave a link in the description if you want to go and check it out. 
Now, personally, I mean, I like the bike. If I was doing off-roading and uh, I would never rule out not getting a bike like this, but like an off-road dirt bike and this wouldn't be the one I would choose because for me it would be too much power and all that. I don't think I would want or need that much. I think personally if I was going to go for an off-road bike, strictly off-road, I would pick a Talaria, but I would go with the lighter Talaria Triple X Black Edition. That bike would probably be fine for me for off-road. The bike would be uh, probably about right for me. I mean, it's $3,150 too right now, so it's a lot uh, less money. But it's not just the money. I think if I'm going to do any off-roading, it would be some light off-roading. I wouldn't go crazy. But yeah, it'd be fun to have the uh, the XXX uh, Black Edition. That'd be my pick. But who knows? I may have the uh, the Talaria Black Triple X, and then say, you know what? I want something a little bit more. And then you start thinking, well. The Sting MX-5 is out there. I think I do think this thing will sell well. And I got to stress one more time that they do state in big bold letters on their site, this bike is sold for strictly off-road riding. So... Uh, if you want to go on road with that you're doing so at your own risk maybe somebody out there can chime in if they've tried because I don't know the difference I've not tried them uh, a Talaria versus a Saran is there that much difference if any at all I know the, the Saran is the bigger name, so you're gonna pay a little more than you would for the Talaria, but uh, I would go for the Talaria personally. There's not a lot of choices of uh, the dirt bikes out there. Um, Goat Power Bikes also has a 72 volt. But uh, Saran kind of reminds me of Super 73. The name is there. It's well known, well established, but you pay more, of course. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. I just want to get out and talk a little bit about the Talaria MX-5 or Talaria Sting MX-5 or the Talaria Sting Pro. Check it out. I will leave a link in the description. Uh, from Luna Cycle and I'm going to get in out of this heat and smoky air So thank you for joining me on this video. Hey, if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button If you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and If you want to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for doing that Just hit that subscribe button and if you want to comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below once again, thank you for joining me on this video, and until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.